hi thanks for joining us we are driving through the most expensive estate in Alhambra state yes before we get to that all of these places have changed over the years now here's a there's a shopping mall here that's shop right by the right and this road we're driving on is called park road and the one we exited from is Oka road of course you know Oka road is the major road that enters into onesha city center if you're coming from ogidi mall and all those places and by the left is what used to be uh, the water corporation yes don't know if it exists any longer and straight down ahead of us is the government lodge this whole area is called the GRA of course you know what GRA means government reserved area yes coming back to what we were saying earlier yes this place is for the richest of the rich think of it like our own banana island or Sokoro or uh, GRA in Port Harcourt. yes it costs that much and originally when it was uh, mapped out when the government reserved this area uh, the original plot size used to be one acre yes uh, one acre means there's no when you're building a personal house you cannot build it cannot fill up the whole area you have you, you have a lot of space you construct your house by one corner there's a lot of people who used to have a uh, long tennis courts nice lawns large swimming pools you know so the whole place has changed of course maybe by now a lot of people must have you know subdivided theirs and sold some part of it you know a lot of these places have changed and that should be Niger Drive by the right will be approaching very soon Niger, Niger, Niger Drive goes deep inside the GRA we'll be taken there because of time we don't want it to be a long video yes that's right that's the road right there it goes deep inside the GRA where you have some one of the most beautiful uh, architectural buildings right now we can also see uh, there's a hotel here now didn't know it was possible to have this uh, kind of building here maybe they changed uh, the town planning changed uh, the plan lately it used to be all duplexes around here okay this one we are taking now is called new in as you can see it's quite serene uh, it's, it's, it's not on surprising to see properties running to hundreds of millions of naira here yes it's that expensive so we'll be taking this drive down to the Inkisi road the one that joins the road of uh, the that leads to tree tree there's a lot of estates new estates and we heard of course we are going to see it for the first time that the government is even in on it a lot of places that were reserved even forest reserves are now estates you know the trans Inkisi area has changed a lot just join the ride, hit the ride. If you're a lover of Onisha or Anambra in general, hit the ride so that you see how a lot of these places have changed. People used to cry about money, 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 that things are hard. But guys around here are building new mansions every day. By the minute they are building, estate agents are hitting it, making sales. So we want to look, go and see for ourselves and and for those who are interested who want to invest in properties this is the right time to join and look around wow just wow what a beautiful scene the whole place is now developed that should be transient case right yeah wow this whole place used to be a, a kind of abandoned area bushy everywhere i'm talking about the left side the hilly left side that should be trans in Kisi. yeah and uh, it's nice it's looking nice this is development in action you know it's good that our people are investing in properties of course majority of the of the houses here are personal houses uh, yeah and this will ride yes that's GRA G 
Shiro continues the whole ride, then it goes to a certain point. There's some nice buildings around here. It goes to where the bridge is. That bridge from the right is where the GRO terminates. Then crossing the bridge now will lead you to the new estates we are talking about. Uh, also, after the bridge, there's a, an entrance by the right and that should go to the Transinkese. Yeah, that should go to Transinkese. There's a small, yes, it's more trouble. Yes, there's a road here by the left here. Yeah, and all those rides, it's surprising how they've built up the whole place is now built up. This used to be a reserve, a, an Anambra State Reserve, Forest Reserve, for, you know, it was reserved for future use. No one knew that the future will be now. <laughs> yeah, and it's totally fenced. That's the one they said the government wants to use, do, uh, is it the GRA Phase 2 or what? Yes, that's it by the right. Uh, remember back in the day, uh, the forest reserve here used to be uh, in the evenings, late evenings. There used to be cries of you know uh, uh, of uh, hyena and uh, other types of animals. You know, yeah. It's looking nice. It's looking nice. So we'll be taking a look at all these places. Uh, of course, you know by the left is the federal housing. Uh, is there phase two right now? Uh, there should be a gate somewhere by the left for the entrance. Then we'll be taking it down to. We'll be. We'll be. We will not be going driving up to Tree Tree Junction, the Y Junction. We'll not be driving up to that point. But there's a government estate. Uh, they say it's new. It's just by the left. Up, up, up. Uh, we'll be trying to take a look there. It might not be in this video. But if it's in this video, stay hooked and take a look at that estate. Uh, they say that estate will rival GRA. Or already, they say already it rivals GRA because there are a lot of new buildings there already and the guys are moving in. Yes. So, in case you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button now and enable notification. You can watch all those important uh, wonderful road trips in Alhambra in by using the playlist you can find the playlist in the video description thanks so this whole place is nice looking serene uh, can imagine deep inside not along the road it, it should be uh, very quiet you know uh, one more thing is that although this is a federal road Yes, this is a federal road that actually leads to Nsubwe, uh, Umuleri, Aguleri, and all those northern towns. Yes, by the left is the entrance. Yes, entrance to the federal housing. Yeah. So, I think the government, being a promoter of many estates around here, it is even in their interest to beautify the place. Uh, they need to get uh, 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 a permission from the federal government in order to dualize especially this area even if it's all up to the white white junction yes because there's a heavy traffic right here now uh, there's another estate by the right is that nepa wow a lot of estates around here so they should give this place a proper beautification you know dualize it uh, all those red sands shouldn't be seen, it's an eyesore, uh, build proper drainages, actually because of the terrain here should have a natural drainage system. Once the drainages are well built and connected, the water should be flood or whatever should be able to wash down, uh, they should flow with the gravity, you know, then they build a proper sidewalk, you know, uh, uh, pedestrians shouldn't be dragging the road with the motorists, with vehicles, it's chaotic, you know. So they should do that and try and plant some flowers or grasses up by the side. It will make every place, everywhere look nice. Imagine 
someone that is not from Anambra that comes and say ah this place is very interesting I, 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 I want to live here that's how you draw people that's how you draw investment you know and other agencies of government especially the waste management authority they should be up and doing uh, if there's a fine that people who dump refuses or people who are in the habit of throwing things away, away from cars not sure who they are expecting to pick it for them you know if there are fines those things need to be enforced you know that's how you get a, a an organized orderly society yes like all these places we are seeing commercial buildings uh, it seems all the mansion mansions built in those estates are, uh, are no longer here yeah and this place looks more commercial there are stalls uh, you can see stalls around under yeah so this uh, journey this trip we are making is just to have a feel of how this place has changed it has really changed a lot all these places left and right there weren't much buildings here before less than 20 years ago or 20, let's say late 90s there, there was, wasn't much around here you know you, you, you it's just totally changed completely changed a lot of new buildings a lot of activity there's a huge population here right now you can see with the traffic you know so it's all nice nice one thing to like about Onisha is the fact that it's relatively cheap to live in we haven't made other uh, investigations or inquiries to uh, about living for instance food but housing for instance to rent a three bedroom apartment especially this kind of highbrow area in Onisha costs you a very cheap amount guess what 400,000 naira per annum that's surprisingly very low compared to the area for instance in Ikeja this kind of highbrow area in Ikeja uh, not even going highbrow uh, the medium areas you are talking about a million naira per annum for a three bedroom apartment you know uh, is it Abuja that we're going to talk about even the outskirts some of the areas the Wuse areas they are even more than that amount you know so why is Onisha rent not commensurate to the uh, amount you you pay to acquire property or commensurate to the uh, the building for instance uh, the they say the value of the property is determined by the surrounding areas yes so why is it because this town is uh, doesn't have much uh, blue collar workers uh, might that be the answer or is it because they, they there is always buildings new buildings popping up but that can be that can be the answer because even in Lagos there are buildings popping up every day even more than in, in Onisha you know so it's a little bit uh, uh, we find it a little bit uh, a misnomer that the rent is actually very cheap so it means that people keep investors for instance or uh, uh, developers they have to invest too much money and it takes them a lot of time to recruit that investment you know so it does actually one thing about Onisha we'll be making other uh, investigations to find out how what about food how how cheap is it to you know get to go to a shopping do shopping with maybe about a thousand naira what can thousand a thousand naira buy for you in Onisha you know what can two thousand five thousand buy you in Onisha so we'll be doing that in subsequent uh, road trips to you know find out the general cost of living around uh, our dear state Anambra and uh, one more thing is that is it that uh, the fact that there are there are 
more businessmen here yeah, that businessmen will never pay a high rent i don't understand how it works but it's, it's supposed to follow this uh, the normal law economic law of demand and supply if you say for instance you're looking for a house and uh, the ones you're seeing are very expensive you know and if people are not building new homes that means you, you will either be forced to pay for the ones you are seeing or you reduce the your you know your scope if you are looking for two bedroom apartment is either you rent it at the uh, cost that you are seeing availability or you go down you go for a studio apartment yes so uh, onisha is su it's surprising that onisha is uh, actually very cheap to live in so why is onisha not attracting people what is making people not moving en mass to the to onisha because it is relatively cheap to rent an apartment or will more people now drive the price up maybe following the same demand and supply maybe when more people demand for these 400,000 naira apartments landlord with landlords we say ah there is demand though uh, oh no and we like saying 500 i will take and if the first person pays that's how it starts rising we don't know but there is magic there's something going on we need to dig deeper and find out why you know also these are the major considerations uh, an average developer uh, looks at before investing in a particular area for instance if a developer wants to buy acquire land in a particular area if they first of all first of all ask how much is rent for this kind of apartment how much do you do this how much how much do you do that you know they are always calculating like an estimate to have an estimate of how long it will take to recruit such an, uh, uh, an investment you know so uh, is the cheap property price which is to the advantage of the worker is it uh, hindering investment or should we go take another model of not renting uh, the government is in on the property boom uh, i don't know the kind of houses they are building or are they just taking over the uh, mapping out an estate and selling plots so that people will come and build by their own according to the government plan you know so these things are uh, the things that an average developer uh, looks at uh, it might make the developer say no let me just build my own personal home uh, since uh, it's not attractive to rent you know to rent the property and uh, start uh, counting pennies you know so that's a very interesting uh, topic we would like to explore further and in case you think you know the reason why it is like this in our beloved nation please let us know in the comment section what do you think why it is very cheap to rent not that uh, it, it, not that uh, 400,000 is cheap but we are talking about in terms of the being commensurate to the area you know there are places where you even get less than that or half of that you know so please and for those who haven't subscribed please subscribe now and enable notification so that when new videos and all these kind of uh, comments you can be notified to watch thanks and please remember to follow us on facebook and instagram thanks we'll be uh, nearing that uh, very soon we're approaching that estate by the left uh, not so sure it will be in this video but even if it's, if it's in the next one please make sure to watch when it goes live that estate they say it is the latest thing in town that it, GRA is no longer GRA that is this estate now so we'll be exploring exploring deep into that estate to find out what is happening okay guys thanks for watching